This man is telling me he's not religious, but yet he has the beard and a close shave and moustache like a Muslim. Okay, what do you think of Muhammad? Because I say he's a child rapist. What do you think? Muslim, the description of your little boys in Jannah is exactly the same as the Afghani dancing boys. Exactly. If God permitted, what's your problem with that? Oh. So you just admit to me that deception is evil. And your Allah, your so-called God, says that all deception belongs to him. Is there something wrong with um, no, I love, Islam? I, I love history, I want to know. No, is there something wrong with Islam that you're thinking about leaving? Are you happy with Islam? No, no you are, you're, I think you have been here too long. You are too in confrontation. No, I'm asking you. I'm, I want to know where you're coming from. Why are you asking me about the Bible? Are you interested in leaving Islam? No, because I think it's... it's uh, even if I am Muslim, I think I can learn from the Bible. I think it's hard. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. The Quran says that Jesus has no sin, bro. Yeah, so he's the one to follow, right? Yeah, as, as all the prophets before him. No, no, no. He's the definite article, the one to follow. Well, which would you fo which would you rather follow, the one who is sinless or the one who had loads of sin? What, what do you Just mean like, by sinless? Because you don't have the same definition of sinless. Well, Muhammad was full of sin. Muhammad was full of sin. What do you think? Huh? How do you know that? Oh my word! You don't even know your prophet. I mean, I mean, the Quran claims. You, you don't really know about your Quran, do you? The Quran claims also that the Muhammad was perfect. You think Muhammad was perfect? The, the Quran claims. I'm not saying he's perfect. The Quran claims. Uh, but you have never asked my, you have asked one my question. I ask, how do you differentiate in the Bible when Jesus is speaking? Is he speaking as a human or as a God? I just want to know what, how, when, how do you differentiate? You take this, this, you speak as God. He, he speak how as do we know? Yeah, I just right. want to know. When he spoke, I just explained to you about the prayer. When he said, this is how you pray. Yeah, he's speaking as a man, correct? How do you know? Because he's saying, he's saying, this is how you pray. Our Father. He's speaking as a man. He's, speaking, he's showing people how to pray. Yeah, our Father. Yeah. So when he speak, so he makes it possible when he speak as God. When he spoke as God. Oh, so many. He says in John. He said in John, I give eternal life. I give eternal life. I give eternal life. That's what he said. I give eternal life. Who else gives eternal life except God? Do you give eternal life? My friend, if, if, if I, 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 I'm a messenger, do you give eternal life? I don't. Do you? Right. Be honest. If you're gonna have a discussion, do you give eternal life? The answer is no, because you know that it's only God can give eternal life. And they say, I give eternal life. I can give you eternal life. If a prophet comes to you and he, he tells you, I give. If a prophet comes to you, a prophet of God comes to you and he tell you, I give eternal life, do you believe him? Only God can give eternal but, life. But I, do you agree with me? A prophet can say also that I give you eternal life. Why? But because he is. How can a prophet give eternal life? By giving you the truth. No, no, no. He's all right. Can a prophet? All right. Listen, listen, listen. No, hold on, hold on. You're taking the scripture and you're twisting it. So twist this. Twist this. A prophet saying, "I came from heaven." Would a prophet say that? Yeah. Who? Well, I'm saying to you that Jesus said, "I came down." from heaven my kingdom is not of this world my kingdom is from above Jesus said I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven he was there in the beginning that's what Jesus said I saw him so don't try and make Jesus just a prophet okay can a prophet give eternal life can a prophet hear all the prayers of every single Christian and grant eternal life to them can a prophet know your life, your life, your life, and your life in intricate detail and know who is a sinner and who is not? Of the, all the world, 
No, only God knows. Only God can be that omniscient, that's knowing everything, and omnipotent to be that powerful. Only God can give eternal life. And you're trying to say a prophet can give eternal life. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I give you an example. It's, it's not wrong, my example. What's come on, wrong? brother. Come on. Please. Come on. Be reasonable. But, be reasonable. But, but I, I, be for reasonable. example, when Jesus said, I'm the Alpha and Omega, you can take it as God. Yeah? You can take it as that. But I'm saying, for example, how do you know when he speaks as God or when, when he speaks as a, as a human? If you can't make the difference. You've got the same this, question this, and it ain't yeah, going nowhere. Prove to me Muhammad was a, was a prophet. He wasn't a prophet. He was suicidal. He raped children, chopped off people's heads. Like, prove to me the prophet. You're following a man that was evil, evil to the core. You think he was a prophet? No. So are you evil to the core? Because you're following him. Do you look at a six-year-old child and think that child? I can take that child to bed. Would you do that? Would you do that? You don't want to answer. The reason you don't want to answer because you know it's disgusting. You don't listen. You know it's disgusting. Why is it? You know it's disgusting. It's and you won't answer. It's because your prophet was a child molester. It's written in your own hadith. Right. Would you marry a six-year-old child? Would you? Answer. Right, no, you won't. So if God permitted. You won't because in this day and age you get locked up for it. And you wouldn't back then because you want you feel like being sick unless you feel unless you're willing to tell me that you would look at a child and lust after her, would you do that? Yeah, okay, answer. Yep. Yeah. If God permitted, what's your problem with that? Oh. If God permitted, this is what this is this this is this is Islam. This is Islam. And this is the reason why you follow your prophet because inside you're scumbag. I'm telling you to your face. And I'll tell you why you're scumbag. Because, because you follow what your prophet does. You follow what your prophet does. And your prophet was a child molester and you're saying it's okay. You're saying it's okay. And I'm telling you to your face. You need to, you need to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. Right? I'm not waffling at all. You're heckling from behind. You're heckling from behind. You got nothing. Do you believe in the Old Testament? You need to turn away from your sins, brother. Turn away from your sins. Turn away. Turn away from the evil desires you got in your brain that are telling you it's okay to sleep with a, a nine-year-old child just because your prophet did. You can't exchange. You don't it, no, you're not exchanging at all. I can. I know your colours now. I know your colours. You came here like a wolf in sheep's clothing, and now I see your colours. In, in Jana, are you looking forward to your little boys in Jana? Are you? You got little boys serving you. Do you know? Do you know? Let me let me give you some information. Let me give you some. Let me give you some information, right? Let me give you some information. The description, the description, the description of your little boys in Jana is exactly the same as the Afghani dancing boys. Exactly. Exactly the same. In Jana, they're just in silk. The Afghani boys are just in silk. Yeah. Man, you can say what they got makeup. They got proof. bracelets. Give me proof. They bracelets. Are you looking forward to sodomy in your heaven? Are you looking forward to it? Come on. Give me proof. Come on. You are speaking, 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 speaking. For nothing. And this is why you, you need to come to Jesus Christ. Because you're, you're trying to defend something that's Man, indefensible. Nice yes, see you later. Yeah. See you later, bro. See you later, bro. See you later. See you later, bro. God bless you and I hope you come to Jesus Christ. Listen, and, and don't let the hadith, don't let the hadith and the Quran turn you into a twisted soul. It's, it's telling you that all your evil desires are acceptable. That's why you follow him. It's making it acceptable. And it's not acceptable. It's not halal. It's not lawful. It's against God. Okay? So you need to go on your knees and go to Jesus Christ. Right? You need to go on your knees and go to Jesus Christ. Turn away from before it's too late, my friend. Have a nice day. God bless you. This is what Islam does to people. It, it twists them and it mutates them into an evil human being. And you're happy with that? Huh? Evidence for what? The kids. Like you said, give us evidence. Do you know your God? Give us evidence. 56, 19, there's evidence. Yes, man. You think the early Christians were obeying Jesus' message? Say again? You think the early Christians were doing well to um, follow Jesus' Jesus' message? How, how, which early Christians are we specifically? Who are you referring to? Let's say after Constantine converted the Holy Roman Empire into Christianity. Okay, you're going somewhere. Would you like to make a point? Because I believe that the early Christians, let's go to the earliest. Right. The 
earliest Christians are the disciples. Right. Right. They had a commission from Jesus before he ascended to heaven, which is go forth into all the world and make disciples of all men, baptizing them in the name of the this Father. Is all sex, or is this no, this is the word of Jesus. Right. But, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Right. Um, and that was a great commission. Right. And then he ascended to heaven. So the early disciples were peaceful. Okay. There are no incidences of Paul, or, I'm sorry, of Peter, of, of any of the any, any of the twelve disciples that followed Jesus. Right? Right? None of them were violent. None of them. They went forth and just spread the gospel and converted the people. So those are the those are the early Christians. And then they lost their message. Sorry? And then they lost their way. They didn't lose their way. How did they lose their way? Oh, I'm saying that um, Explain to me how it's different. It different. Uh, At all. He expounded on it through the um, revelation that God was revealing himself more and more as um, the scriptures went on, but it wasn't different, it all tied up with harmonious. Yeah, but wasn't there a bit of a um, civil conflict between people who followed um, the father of Jesus as James example? Jesus. Can you explain, can you give me an example? Alright, well, um, for example, Paul believes anyone to be a Christian. and a close shave and moustache like a Muslim. Okay, what do you think of Muhammad? What do you no, claim? Because I say he's a child rapist. What do you think? Muslim! <laughs> Muslim exposed. Takia. And this is the evil, twisted behaviour of Muslims. They come in like wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to fool the truth. And they can't get past the truth. Now, I challenge you now, Come out into the open, come into the light, and we can talk. No, no, he's are you Muslim, sir? Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I'm not that religious. I'm not, no, I don't are you a Muslim? Have you done Shahada? Huh? Have you done Shahada? Shahada? Me, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, my family's first Muslim, yeah. Yes, okay, you're Muslim. You're, now you confirm you're Muslim. So why why did he come in like that? Don't you think the deception is evil <laughs> in, in its core, in its, in, its, in its ethic? Don't you think deception is evil? Do you think deception is something of God? I'm asking you a question. Is deception good or evil? So, so, so it's evil. So why did you come in like that? Why are you practicing it? Why are you practicing it? Okay. Okay. Let's leave that behind. At least you said you're Muslim. Right. Now you've 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 admitted to me that deception is evil, right? Right. So you agree that Allah is evil? Because Allah. No. Allah said. Listen to me. Listen to me. Allah said all deception belongs to Him. The best. Your God said. He's the best deceiver. Yep. So you just admit to me that deception is evil. And your Allah, your so-called God, says that all deception belongs to him. So what does that make him? It makes him Satan, doesn't it? How is it Satan? Hold on, hold on. Can God be evil? God can be evil. Right. So it's not God talking. If, 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 you're, if a God, a so-called God, or something proclaiming to be God, says, I am the best at deceiving. It's not God speaking, is it? 
Sounds like Loki. Thank you. <laughs> even are you atheist? Sir? Oh, I'm pagan. Okay, I guess it must. But even he can see it. And I want you to deal with this, my brother. Your God is saying he's Satan. He's saying I'm the one that leads people astray. That's what your God said. I'll show you in your Quran. I'll show you right now. Uh, no, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. No, but no. Let me show you. You probably. You can't give us evidence, you're just lying. Lying, you just feed them a lot of lies. Take the mask away from your face. Take the mask away from your face. Take the mask away from your face. <laughs> fearless Muslim. A fearless Muslim. Like lockdown ginger, we used to do that at 12 years old. I'm not talking to a man, I'm talking to kids. Brother, please, please, please. Oh, let, me, let me try and find a picture for you. I got this for free, by the way. Oh, did you? <laughs> it's what I'm trying to tell you because in his behaviour, in his behaviour, Allah is revealing himself as the devil. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, let me get let me get under this umbrella for a second because I'm a, brother, please stay. I'm 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 asking you to stay. So I can show you this. You think the whole Quran is devil? No. Just let us clear this one point up and I'll show you in your Quran, right? Uh, uh, right. Surah 13, Ayah 42 says that all deception, all deception belongs to Allah. Allah is speaking, saying it all belongs to me. I'm the liar. I'm the best at lying. That's what Allah is saying. Go to, go to Surah 3, Ayah 54. Surah 3, Ayah 54. Surah 3, Ayah 54. All right, here we go. And I i.e. the deceiver planned but Allah planned and Allah is the best planner right now this is this is this is the it's planners here right it's not the right word I, I challenge you right it's not the right word the root word is makhra makhra right in Arabic and that means deceive right so when he's saying he's the best of planners he's saying I'm the best of deceivers that's one right? of the 99 names of Allah as well yeah so I want you to understand how your God is describing himself my brother you understand and if a god is going to describe himself like that it sounds like the devil because only the devil would describe himself like that in fact if you go to revelation it says and the great deceiver was thrown into the lake of fire that's talking about what god is going to do to the devil in judgment that's allah he's talking about and he's told you because you've mixed He's he's mixed. He's mixed. Don't worry about that. He's he's. You're mixing with. You're obviously a young gentleman, right? And I respect you for coming, uh, like coming clean about where you're coming from. But this is the problem with Islam. They they try to convince you that it's okay to remain where you are because Allah says it's lawful. Do you understand? Because as human beings. We're carnal. Yes. We're carnal. We want more women. We want. We want any woman. And if we want to get rid of a woman today and marry another one tomorrow, we want to be able to do it. And Allah, no. Let me give you the correct name. Scratch that. Satan says, "How can I get these people? Let me tell them that whatever they want, they can have. That doesn't matter if you lust after a child. You can have it. It doesn't matter if you want." One woman one day and another woman the next day. Wait, you can have it. Wait, what about alcohol? Uh, alcohol, he says two different things. He says it's, he says it's halal and then he says it's not halal. And then but in my, paradise, it's halal. Paradise. In, in halal, in paradise, it's correct, it's halal. But do you understand what I'm trying to say? He's, whereas Jesus is calling you to turn away from your sin. Jesus said you're sinful and you need me, the saviour. You need me to die for you on the cross. Right? To take your penalty for your sin. And you need to turn to me and step into my righteousness because I'm the only righteous one. Right? But the devil is coming to you saying, it's okay, stay where you are. Have your evil desires. I'm going to make them halal. Don't worry, you haven't got to move. Do you understand? And this is why you've been convinced by your peers to come in as a, as a wolf in sheep's clothing. I respect you for coming clean, but they've convinced you it's okay to, to act like that. But in your heart, your conscience convicted you as a true human being and you knew what you did was wrong. You knew what you did was wrong. You see what I mean? And that's the 
conviction of God telling you it's not okay. In your heart, you knew it wasn't okay. Why you are not okay? Sorry? Yeah, any sin, any sin is disobedience to God. If you lie, if you lie, exactly. Yeah, but then He's calling you to turn away from your sin. Right? Okay. All right. Listen. Okay. Do you think God is a? Do you, do you think do you take God for a sap? I'm asking you, brother. I'm just I know you got people here now, so don't, 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 don't. Stay, stay where you are, because you're a man now. Yeah, don't get carried away, because we're talking. No, you said that all. God, you said that all. 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 What is your understanding of it? What's your understanding? Why would God supposed to be? Why does God need to kill someone? So can he just forgive? Why does he? No, 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 no. He let God himself. Laid his own life down so that you could live. So, do you know Jesus? So, you know God incarnating himself into Jesus. He didn't God, incarnate no, himself. No, it's not. No. Yes, yes, yes. The word became flesh. So, so, so when, so when Jesus was praying, so was God praying to himself. 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 When Jesus was praying, oh, yeah. he's going for the Zachary Knight textbook question. Not well. just that, but we were just, we were just, listen, we were just talking truth. And you couldn't handle it. And now you veered away, you veered away to the polemics rather than discussing truth. Because you know that it's not okay to lie. So let's talk about truth, bro. Let's talk about truth as men and brothers in humanity. Let's talk about truth. You know it's not okay to lie. And you're coming up. No, 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 don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Come on, bro. Don't interrupt. Come on, bro. You know, you know as a man, as a, as, a, as a human being with a conscience, the conscience that God gave you. Okay, let's take away the Quran for argument's sake. Let's take away the Bible for argument's sake. Would you still know it's, it's not okay to go and sleep with a child? You would know, wouldn't you? Right. Why would you know? Because it's the Spirit of God in you. He breathed it into you to give you a direction to Him. You know what's halal without Muhammad telling you. You know what's haram. You know. That's why you know that lying is wrong. You understand me, brother? So you don't need someone to tell you right from wrong. You just need someone to help you to do it. Because we fail every day as human beings. We're failures. It doesn't matter how big you are or how much you think you know, as humans, we need a savior. And it's Jesus who had to come and live the perfect life so that you don't have to worry about, am I gonna succeed 100% because you're not capable of doing it. You just have to have the right conscience and follow that conscience and turn to Jesus and let him do the work. He's done the work on the cross for you. Believe in him. When they came to Jesus and they said, well, what do we have to do to be saved? He said, the disciple said, believe on the name of Jesus Christ. And that means believe in what he did. Believe in the miracles that he did. Because no one else had them. He did those miracles to prove who he was, brother. He did those miracles to prove that he was God. Sorry, I can't hear what you said. What, what are the commandments he said? He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And the core message in that is love and truth. Because if you if, if you love me as a human being, you're not going to lie to me. If you love your brother, right, who's married to a woman that you like, you're not going to lust after her. You are going to do right if you love your human being and if you love God, you just will do right. You will follow the truth. Do you understand? So Jesus is saying all the Ten Commandments are in two. Love God and love your brother. And you'll slip up, of course you'll slip up. But come back to me, follow me. Follow me and what I did on the cross. I've done the work for you. I've done the work for you, just believe in me and you'll have everlasting life. That's the message, that's the good news. You don't have to try. You don't have to try and be good anymore. Just, just follow Jesus. Just follow him, read his words. He, he's saying to you, it's okay, I've done the work. Stop trying to work your way to heaven. You have a sheikh called Sheikh um, Meng, I think his name is, Sheikh Meng. And he says that your good works in Islam are like currency. Oh, for goodness sake. So, for the richer you are,
the more the angels are going to be there like bus boys waiting for you like a rich man turn up to a, to a nightclub what can we do for you sir how many good works have you had sir what can we have we park your car sir what a ridiculous thing is that how can you store up enough works to go into the presence of a holy god how look at us you need someone to do the work for you and jesus did it on the cross he left heaven knowing that we can't do it and he came and he died he proved who he was jesus christ had it work he proved who he was brother do you understand what i'm saying to you your conscience is telling you as well so uh, Jesus are just, he's not all the right thing, so say that. I don't know, I just believe in him. That's all right, I'm just saying. Bro, bro, don't be scared, man. Come in, bro. bro. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. So they say that, um, huh? all I have to do is yeah, just believe in Jesus and I'll own Yes, yes. That's the whole point. Yes. That's the whole point. So, 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 so you're telling me, yes. So you're telling me that, so. That's how much he loves you, man. How do do that? That's how much God loves you, man. But That's how much he loves every one of us. He loves believe in Jesus and he killed six million Jesus. 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 He doesn't how much he loves you, brother. As your creator, he wants you to be reconciled to him. When he created Adam and Eve, he, they were immortal. He walked with them in the garden. And because of sin, because of disobedience, sin is disobedience, they became separated from God. Do you understand? God wants you to be reconciled to him so he can walk with you in the garden again. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to him. God is calling you back to himself. And he sent his son Jesus Christ to do the work. Believe in him and be reconciled to God. Just believe in him. Repent. Red card. Red card. Red card. At least that was funny. Usually it's stupid. I Okay, so now that Jesus of your own okay say your own standard now you don't have to do anything so if say say i believe what you say so if jesus has paid a price can you go and murder 10 people right now and go to heaven no hold on i'm asking you i'm asking you can because it's paid for god said that's not what we believe no 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 you missed the whole thing we believe brother i'll explain it because you can't live the life yes sir you're a new person because he's living it oh Bubba, ask me, ask me a proper question. If, if, if God gave me life, why can't yeah. I live it? If God gave you life... Yeah, you said God gave me life, so I can't, you said I can't live the life. God gave me life. Yeah, because you just have to follow him. It's put your faith in him. He's saying it's okay, don't worry, you're going you're gonna to be imperfect. You're going to be imperfect. But don't worry, I've done the work. That's how much he loves you. He left heaven and he came and he died for you. That's how much he loves you. He's saying to you, you can't do enough work. I've already done the work. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying, Baba? Do you understand? So he's saying, relax. Just believe in me. Believe in what I did. Believe in the works that you saw. Believe in the works. Who else? Who else? Right? Before Jesus opened the eyes of a blind man. So, who else? looked at a dead body and commanded the spirit to come back into that body who else he did those things to prove who he was only god can can command a spirit to come back into a body only god only god can, can see that and tell you now what you've got in your kitchen only god can do that and Jesus could do that in your Quran, could he not? He, could, he says in your Quran, he could do that. He says in your, he, he says in your Quran, brother, listen to me. He says in your Quran that Jesus could see the unseen. He says, I tell you what you, uh, you've got in your house. He's laughing. Are you laughing at your own prophet? Why are you laughing at me? You don't believe what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't believe so what if I prove it now? What are you going to say? Uh, no, not Tafsir. I'm going to read the from the Quran. Uh, now that's a rubbish. Do you want to change it to the... I'm, I'm missing like several pages out of this. It goes from Surah 20 to Surah 24 in just one page. <laughs> because he speaks about the nature of time. Okay. Uh, 
this is Surah 3, Ayah 49. This is in your Quran. Right? It says, and appoint him a messenger to the children of Israel with this message. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I make out of you, sorry, I make for you out of clay, as it were, the figure of a bird. Who's talking? Right, you know it's Isa. That's a rubbish name, it's Jesus, right? He says, I make out of you a bird and breathe into it, and it becomes a bird by Allah's leave, and I heal those who are born blind and the lepers, and I quicken the dead by Allah's leave, and I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses. Right? He doesn't say that. Prove it. He doesn't say that. <laughs> right, now this is the interesting thing. This is the interesting thing, guys. When Jesus is raising the dead, when he's cleansing the leper, when he's making the blind see, your Quran says, right, that is by Allah's leave. And you lot, I don't blame you because you cling on to it because he's your only saviour. You say, oh, but Allah's leave because Allah is by Allah's permission. Hold on, by Allah's permission, right? But when you look at the last thing Jesus did, he said, I tell you what you store in your, your houses. It doesn't say by Allah's leave. Jesus was doing it by himself. Yeah.